Hello, and welcome to A Moment in Black History. Elijah McCoy was born in 1843 in Colchester, Ontario, Canada. Elijah was born in Canada due to his parents fleeing slavery from Kentucky. They were passengers on the Underground Railroad. But by the time Elijah was three years old, his family moved back to the United States, settling in Detroit, Michigan. Beginning at a very young age, Mr. McCoy showed a strong interest in mechanics, and so his parents arranged for him to travel to Scotland at the age of 15 for an apprenticeship in mechanical engineering. After becoming a certified mechanical engineer, Mr. McCoy returned home to Michigan. Despite his qualifications, he was unable to find work as an engineer in the United States due to racial barriers. During this era, Professional positions were not available for blacks at this time, regardless of training or background. So, he accepted a position as a fireman and a oiler for the Michigan Central Railroad. The fireman's job was to fuel the steam engine with wood or coal, and the oiler's job was to lubricate the engine's moving parts as well as the train's axles and bearings. At that time, trains needed to periodically stop and be lubricated to prevent overheating. After studying the inefficiencies in the existing system of oiling axles, etc., because of his training, he was able to identify and solve the problems of engine lubrication and overheating. Mr. McCoy invented a lubricating cup that distributed oil evenly over the engine's moving parts, which allowed trains to run continuously for long periods of time without pausing for maintenance and he obtained a patent for this invention. Mr. McCoy continued to produce and refine other devices, receiving nearly 60 patents over the course of his lifetime. While the majority of his inventions related to lubrication systems, he also developed designs for the ironing board, lawn sprinkler, and other machines. Mr. McCoy has been inducted into the Ohio National Inventors Hall of Fame and he was also nominated by the International African Inventors Museum for induction into the Canadian Railway Hall of Fame. There was a saying, the real McCoy and some attributed to Elijah McCoy. There were inferior copies of his inventions on the market, and so to avoid those, one would ask for the real McCoy. Some still use this term today in referring to quality and authenticity.